today's video which is um, review slash comparison we're gonna talk about my new base which is the Fender Precision and this beautiful body cream color uh, gonna talk about the good stuff we're gonna talk about the bad stuff and then I'm gonna show you what's the plan with it what are the mods etc etc so let's start with the bad shall we right uh, so, is the delivery box basically behind me? The base arrived in this box. This box being uh, within a slightly large box, which had a bit of bubbly wrapper thing around it. But other than that, this thing, all it had inside was this piece of cardboard at the bottom of the base, which to me is for surprise basically. There was no internal bracing around the neck or the body in general. Like I have two P bases here from a Squire, which is basically owned by a Fender. I have a Jackson Minion, which are all three like a third of the price of this base, and they have a beautifully done bracing. So when you put the base in it, it actually holds. And when you shake it, it doesn't move. When this came and I was holding the box and I moved it a bit around, there was something rattling in it. I was shitting myself thinking, man, something is wrong. Now, thanks God, uh, the base came in one piece. Now, as for the box, uh, all the stickers, all the gluey bits, bits uh, staples, whatever is on, is in original position, intact or was intact. So I believe that's how it was shipped. There was no third party involved opening it and checking it out. So I suppose Fender have a good faith in the delivery drivers but yeah it's a, not a big deal as I said base is fine it's just something I thought I would mention so that was the first uh, second uh, my close inspection now I have the base home for about uh, 48 hours so it's been tuned I didn't do any much setting afterwards so just want to see how the neck reacts to the weather and uh, basically surroundings but all I can spot is quite a lot of shavings around the scratch plate. Now, again, this is 700 euro instrument. I would imagine to have these clean before they attach it. I have my cheaper bases, which doesn't have that issue. So, yeah, it's a cosmetic thing, I know, but uh, something I, I, I believe it shouldn't be on. For the sound thing, now considering this as well being through the assembly and whatever checks they do, your 12th fret, G string fine, oh boy, that's your D, A and E. Obviously it needs setup. Another issue which is typical for any basically bass which have a straight neck, it's the A string buzzes because there is no enough angle from the peg to the uh, nut. Now what I done as well they just put the two wraps around I believe so when I put the new strings on it and I gave it a bit of wrapping it I will get basically I will get rid of that so if I press down it, it loses straight away. If no I will have to go with the new retainer for a string which is the a kind of Sandberg style 45 degree which basically holds three strings rather than two so that's basically initial thoughts as right this could be better but that's pretty much it other than that it is still have you know your know, wrapping bits and bobs around just you know to make sure everything is fine before I take those down uh, the good things 
and I believe this is where this bass shine the most is the neck uh, well where to start how to describe it um, lately I have uh, been injured both hands trigger finger first and third first and third so holding a bass or playing and anything pressing against those points would basically hurt so I was a bit worried ordering a bass online how it's gonna feel if it's not great I have to return it and all the other issues with it but I'm happy to report this neck it's a dream to hold the best way I could describe it is if you take a hard shape you cut it in half and you have basically the half of it and you make the top bit flat that's what the neck feels right here you can pretty much park your thumb on top of it and then it runs underneath very smoothly without any anything discomfort you know thing going on uh, as for woods or finish satin I don't think so camera will be able to pick it up but it's got a bit of flame to it which is you know beautiful uh, typical other body with loads of sustain new fender spaghetti logo and uh, yeah typical bridge and the tuners pickups these are Fender Anika 5 now what's the plan with this beauty is let me show you down fresh as for let's start from top tuners I have in mind the Goto lollipop style tuners I have uh, these for a while been going from one base to another I always take them down because yeah I love them this is 130 gear ratio very nice fine tuning the only downside is because the back plate is a bit bigger you have to drill new holes which if eventually you decide to sell the instrument and you want to keep the tuners uh, you ending up with the holes visible if you put the old tuners back now that could add a bit of mojo to the instrument but some people doesn't like it so it's kind of trade do you do it do you not do it yeah ish so that's one second uh, planning to replace the bridge for the Hi um, if you ask me why or is it the sustain thing or is it what, uh, I have this bridge for a while and I have it on a different basis. Uh, I never really could spot too much difference in terms of sustain. Of course if you plug the node then you let it sound, it may give you a couple of seconds extra but uh, how many times in a song you let the you know, string sound for like two minutes or something, never. So that's not the case, the reason I want to change it is uh, I have this bass planned to be tuned the E drop to the D and uh, my experience is when you detune the E string it doesn't have enough tension so when you hit it hard the whole first basically nut or stone or whatever you call it moves with it which makes the the note goes well kind of you know it drops the tuning basically so what the Hymas does because it's got a groove in it 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 holds it nicely so that's the plan for the bridge uh, thirdly we're gonna put on some badass carry North strand NP4A these however are the Arnico 3 custom mount pickups so can't wait for those and to finish it off we're gonna go with the Made in Japan Dorcho Bigard. Beautiful. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a bit of recording before and after so you can hear the differences, and uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. So, uh, let's do it.
Right, so there we have it. I think we all have a have a personal winners. I think the fenders are actually quite okay for more like a vintage or classic sound. Uh, however, if you're into more like uh, modern or you know experimental stuff, these pickups brought the bass to a completely different level. There is more bite, punchiness. There is a meat. Uh, it's just I love it. the whole thing as it turned out with all the changes I did. Yeah, it's got a. It's a keeper, call it this way. Uh, one thing I'll just mention, I said on the beginning I wanted to change the keys. Didn't happen because the goto, uh, the inner part was actually uh, bigger or taller. So that would create issue for A and E string. Uh, there would basically no angle from the note. So kept these, the fine. Uh, this string had a bit of gear jam, a little bit of mineral oil and it sorted. So yeah, that, that's for the moment there. As for the pickups, again, Kudos to Kerry Nordstrand for designing these because uh, I, I couldn't be happier. I feel like I'm 16 again when I just wanted to practice and practice. But now I put the kids in the bed and I'm legging down the stairs to grab a bass and have a jam and you know uh, just basically have fun. Uh, as for the recordings, that's just a little thing to mention. The intro on the beginning, that's basically bass as it was through my pedal board, which is the uh, mini wah download the bass mini wire. it goes directly to uh, vintage deluxe from dark class electronics and that goes to uh, valrus audio arp87 delay which then goes to my steinberg mark ii uh, recording uh, door thing there uh, as for the samples bass were directly into the uh, steinberg so there was no pedals involved no compression nothing nothing else so uh, that's basically uh, what you what you heard, and uh, yeah, I think uh, that's enough of me yapping about, and let's have a little bit of jump. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 